In this video, I want to talk about a technical indicator that I that I wrote. Uh, I consolidated the moving averages and the RSI. This is not financial advice. Um, I don't. I hate making these these types of videos. I may make one one more video that talks about the Bitcoin stock to flow model. It's a way to um, uh, look at the mining cost of Bitcoin. Um, but I'll do that in another video, possibly. But this is just one of the things I look at. Um, I used to use multiple indicators, and it got a little. Um, it was it was difficult to look at multiple indicators uh, visually. So what I had done is I wrote something to where it would visually show me um, a B on the chart whenever I should make a move. Not saying this. This is this is what you should do. Uh, I'm just telling you what what I do. So to make uh, this type of indicator, all you'd have to do, click on the pine editor at the bottom, and you would add this code in there and save it. I'm gonna copy and paste this into the description of the video. But you'll save it, add it to the chart. Um, if you get rid of it and you need to get it back at the top, just click on indicators, my scripts, and then transcript. You will see that there's two indicators here. There's one at the bottom here. Um, what this is, this is a complementary indicator. So whenever there's no B on the chart, there's a it go, it's at a zero, and whenever there is a B on the chart, it goes to a one. So if you would like to create an email alert or a text alert or a browser pop up, um, you can. Let me open up the other one. This is the other code. This is for the alert. This is for this bottom indicator. You would save it, add it to the chart, and when you're looking at it, just right click anywhere on it, don't matter where you're at, and then go to add alert. And make sure you're on transfer per script. Uh, crossing up, the value is going to be 0 0.050, which is half. Once per bar close, uh, pop up email. The expiration date, you want to set it as far as you can in the future. Um, and then hit create. And it will create this dotted line. So whenever it's a zero, um, there's no B. Whenever there is a B, it goes to a one, and it's got to cross up above 0.5. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much.